doing everybody uh, I know it's been a minute a uh, good uh, nine months <laughs> or so since I've uh, posted a video and uh, this is gonna be kind of a two-parter video I hit a thousand subscribers so um, I'm pretty fucking excited about that because uh, one I can start making money off YouTube so <laughs> but uh, now and in, in reality uh it's pretty fucking awesome i finally hit my first 1000 so hopefully it can uh it can start taking off from here but yeah hopefully the uh the channel can start taking off from here i say that though with uh without having posted a video in nine months so uh probably could have hit a hit a thousand a lot sooner if i would have posted some videos but i'm gonna get to that so the reason I've been gone for, uh, I say gone, the uh, reason I've been out for nine months is because the R1's just been giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, that's kind of half of it. The first half of me not posting a video, I'd say like the first like four, like three, four months, uh, I just, I got bored, you know? I didn't really want to um, keep posting the same video over and over again, you know? Because with the R1, you know, it's an, it's an expensive bike, you know, 1000s aren't cheap, even though they're cheap to get, you know, maintaining them and doing the things you want to do to them and all that stuff, it, it gets pretty pricey. First, uh, first few videos I had with the R1, it was kind of the same, you know, me and, me and baby vlogs would ride around town for a little bit, get on the highway, race each other a little bit, and it's fun to do that, but to make a video out of it, and not so much. But yeah, I was, I was like, I'm not going to post anything else until, until I either can, you know, go to a track day here soon or buy some mods for it or, you know, freshen it up more than, the, not really than it needs, but, you know, it does need to be freshened up, especially now. Yeah, that was kind of the first part of it. And then, so I kind of let the bike sit for about four or five months, really. Once I finally got back on it, I rode it every every so often, you know, like me and my dad would go get breakfast or uh, me and him would go on a ride. I got to ride it every now and then, but I didn't really like ride it that hard, if you know what I'm saying. Like I kind of, uh, I kind of just let it sit. As soon as I started it up again and started really riding the hell out of it, that's when it started giving me problems things were going out the bike wouldn't start right and it was just like letting it sit was the biggest problem ever for it but let me get some gas and we'll continue this so the first few problems with the bike were it was doing the heart you know if you own an r1 especially the 09 to 14s You know they have a hard start problem you know after some time or another i don't know i don't know if it's the same for everybody you know but i know for some people it happens sooner some people it happens later yeah that was happening so i was like okay well let's see what's up with the bike you know uh so i got on some forums and some uh i got on a, i got in a facebook group and was asking everybody like hey you know my bike's having hard start problems the starter sounds fine, but it is still, it won't start right away. And people were like, oh, you need a better battery, a lithium battery, so it has higher cranking power, which I got. You need new spark plugs, which I did need. Once I took them out, I realized they were burnt as fuck. So new fucking spark plugs. Yeah, I put those things on and it's it started better, but I could tell the problem was still there. and. It was it was starting to get worse so that's when i realized that yeah you know it is the starter one day the bike starts up just perfectly fucking fine and it happened to be a day i was riding with a buddy that i haven't seen in a while so i was like all right bet bro let's go ride so we go ride around this area that i'm in you know um kind of that way more that way i'm fucking taking corners at like a buck 20 and he's taking corners at like a buck 50 he's on a fucking busa you know how them Busa boys are. So, yeah, we're fucking killing it. I come out of a corner, pin the bike, and I notice a loss of power, and I just feel fucking cool and hit my leg. I get the bike, take it home, realize that my fucking reservoir cap, the little fucking reservoir that's like right here, 
the cap had just come off and I don't know if it somehow pressurized and that and all the hot coolant started falling out of there because it couldn't cycle it through the reservoir I don't fucking know but it came out through my reservoir and I know that because when I took the bike apart there was no cracked hoses there was nothing leaking that I saw by the way the bike never got like ridiculously fucking hot like as soon as coolant started hitting my leg I shut the bike off and coasted to a stop that way the engine could cool down while I was while I was uh, slowing down yeah so the bike got to like maybe like 250 260 um which is it's hot but you know i've heard other people say they got they've gotten their bikes that hot and nothing happened so i tried to start it wouldn't fucking start like at all and so i asked around forums and uh the facebook groups again and a lot of people were saying it was my starter some people said it was my stator but i was like eh, none of my electrical shit is bugging out so it's got to be the starter i get the starter put it in and mind you if you have never put a starter in at a 14 and a no 9 to 14 r1 fuck that shit i don't know what the fuck yamaha was doing when they fucking designed this shit but it was the worst thing ever so to get to my starter and you're able to see when you take the side panels off you're able to see it from the side you can see it you think oh i can get to that no you have your throttle bodies in the way you have a coolant line connected to the engine in the way which is also the line connected to your thermostat so you have to take all that shit off and there's a heat protectant that you have to rip off to get to it so you have to get all that shit off just to take the starter out well i put the starter in i put everything back exactly how it came off i made sure all the o-rings that were there um went on properly i made every i made sure everything was on right because i knew with that much stuff coming off if i didn't pay attention something was gonna bug out i put everything back together the bike starts like as soon as i put everything back together i put coolant in the bike uh because mind you you have to drain all the coolant out as well i put coolant in the bike it's it turns over immediately like the new starter and that fucking lithium battery like that that starter is fucking cranking bro so it turns over the bike shoots up because it you know it needs to warm up shoots up to like 2000 and as soon as it gets as soon as it drops back down out of that idle stage that cold start stage it dies it stalls itself out so i was like fuck bro did i put something on wrong or maybe it's a safety feature because the bike can sense that there's no coolant through the system so it's trying not to keep the bike running I, uh, I hold the throttle because I'm able to hold the throttle to keep the bike on. So I hold the throttle at like 1200, 1500 RPMs. Well, as I'm doing that, the bike is cold, so nothing's really happening. So I'm like, okay, it sounds normal. You know, if I pull the clutch in, it sounds even better because you know how fucking Yamahas have that raggedy sounding clutch. I hold in the clutch to make sure everything still sounds good so I don't hear that rattling from the clutch. Uh, and everything sounded fine then as soon as the bike hits like 110 and the, and the th uh, thermostat starts reading the temperature i'm not shitting you bro it looked like a fucking locomotive was going choo choo out my fucking exhaust there was so much goddamn steam bro it filled up my garage and it wasn't oil because it didn't have a bluish tint to it it was full-blown steam coming out of my engine so now i have a head gasket that's fucking broken i went to forms again and i asked everybody hey my head gasket's blown like i'm 99 sure it's a head gasket like if you want here's a video of it and pretty much everybody confirmed it i asked i was like hey is a head gasket you know something i could do myself because i called a yamaha tech and they were like look man like it's not it's not the hardest fix but it ain't the easiest thing like we're gonna have to take the engine apart obviously to get to the head gasket and it's gonna be like six to eight hundred bucks with parts and labor and all that and i was like yeah yeah i don't want to i don't really want to just throw six to eight hundred bucks you know into the bike that i don't necessarily have right now i can save up for it yeah but i don't really want to do that so am i able to do it myself and a few people were like i mean if you want to do it yourself you can but the problem is you're gonna have to retime your cams and all that and your uh your chain in the engine the fucking uh tensioner or whatever the fuck it's called i can't remember 
Well, I'm not doing that, obviously. So, as of right now, all these fucking nine months, I've been pretty much, well, I've been bikeless all nine months, but for the better part of like three or four months, I've been, uh, I've been bikeless. Yeah, that's what's, uh, that's what's been going on with me. And so, yeah, so then here we are. I'm at a thousand subscribers, you know, and, uh, somehow my channel's still going up in the, in the subscribers and the views and all the numbers are still going up it's little by little, but so I'm fucking out. And, uh, when I saw that I had a thousand subscribers, finally, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta make a video. I can't just get a thousand subscribers and not make a video, you know, especially when I'm not, I'm not a fucking professional YouTuber, but this is something I enjoy a lot. You know, I love going out, making videos with friends or making videos by myself or making videos on whatever the fuck, it, whatever the fuck two wheels is on. You know what I mean? Like, I just enjoy it, you know, whether vlogs, build videos, fucking review videos. I've done a review on this thing. I just, I enjoy it. I enjoy the editing process. I enjoy always trying to make my videos look better, how I can be maybe funnier or make her just better at I'm always looking to be better so to get my first thousand is fucking is fucking awesome and to the people who have been here since my channel first fucking started I love you and to the new people I fucking love you just as much and yeah you know I really hope the channel takes off from here I, I try my best to uh, post videos if probably for a little bit it's gonna be kind of here and there you know if you're actually here to stay you know and you like you really enjoy my videos you know one I fucking appreciate that the hell out of that because like I said I love this and so when, when I see people who, who enjoy my videos just as much as I enjoy my own videos that's fucking awesome I'm not trying to sound like I'm boasting myself or anything but you know like I said I really fucking enjoy this thousand subs though I fucking I'm grateful to all y'all uh, we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna try to get that R1 sold. I, I had a guy who seemed kind of interested in taking over the bike as is because right now I'm doing payments on the bike because I'm a fucking broke 22 year old. So I'm making dumb decisions and financing a $7,000 bike. But I look at it as building credit, so I don't really see any bads to it. But yeah, I still owe like five grand on it. And uh, this guy, uh, or one of the guys who was kind of privately messaging me and helping me out with the problems of the R1 He was like, well, hey, man, how much would you take for it sitting right now? And I told him I was like, bro, honestly, if I could take less than this, I would but I owe five grand on the bike So it can't be less than that And he was like, well, okay, well, give me an exact payoff and I'll, I'll get back to you he, uh, I gave him the payoff and told him it was like 5000 and some change and he was like, okay, well, I'm still, uh, I'm still kind of hesitant on it, I won't lie to you, because, you know, it, you are having problems with the bike and I don't really want another headache, but I do want another R1 to kind of set up. I don't know what the fuck he wants to set it up for, he didn't tell me, but he said he wants another R1 to set up. So. Yeah, I thought I was going to get rid of the bike. I was like, fuck yeah, get rid of this fucking thing. I don't want it anymore. I'm tired of fucking wrenching on it. I have wrenched on it more than I have ridden it. But that fell through. So at this point, it's looking like I'm going to have to save up some money, take it to Yamaha, get it running. You know, running good. You know, I don't, there's, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I put the bike in diag mode a couple, like a month ago when I was first wrenching on the bike, putting the plugs and the battery in and all that shit. I have 14 fucking error codes on this bike, bro. 14. So there's some problems with it. And a lot of it are sensors. Uh, Cause I looked them up. A lot of it is like uh, a fucking, like my neutral switch is out. My fucking, there's another sensor like, you know, near the throttle bodies that's out, which is probably also causing the bike to have some throttle issues. Save up the money, go get it diagnosed, see what they tell me. And I'm just going to be like, look, just put the head gasket on and if there's another major problem that you see that is wrong now that could cause something else to fuck up and the bike not run fix that too so i'm just gonna do that get the bike fixed sell it for my payoff and if by the point my payoff is fucking three grand i don't give a shit 
I'm fucking selling that thing. But yeah, it, uh, it's just not a good bike. So at this point, I just need to save up, get the bike fixed, sell that bitch, and then I'm gonna get a Roadster. Hey, Assassin here. I'm not getting a Roadster. The R1 is gonna be gone sooner or later, and that means the content on the channel will be pretty sporadic since I won't have a bike for a while. So now the plan is to try to start a gaming channel since I've been wanting to do that for a while anyways, and also get rid of my truck and try to get a Golf GTI. I might try to make some content on the Golf and kind of dive into the car community more and see what happens, but yeah, that's the plan for now, so let's get back to the video. If you're new here, if you're old here, I appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you, thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers. My first thousand on my YouTube channel, you know, that I'm taking seriously. Hopefully soon we can get to 5,000 and then, you know, 10 and then, you know, up from there. The goal right now, now that I'm at a thousand, I'd say 10,000. Even though that's a little, that's a little ways away. That's the, uh, that's the goal for now. And uh, I'll try my best to stick to it, but we'll see what happens. Woo! All right, everybody. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all had a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is, you know. Hope it was great. Thank y'all for sticking around. And I'll see y'all next time. Sassin' out. Peace.